This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Ken Maxwell back with me for Skate the Lake, and we are really back yes. at it this year. Yes, yes, yes. for sure. Yeah. yeah, after two years of not having Skate the Lake, uh, it's good to get back to it again. Uh, a lot of our people are chomping at the bit to get going. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And I mean, you say you didn't do it, but uh, you, you weren't able to do the physical We event, weren't able event. to do the physical event basically because of COVID and distancing and stuff like that. But we did do uh, two years of uh, uh, brainchild of uh, Marco Smets, one of the organizers of Skate the Lake. We did the Skate the Lake Challenge, which was extremely successful. We, we were very, very pleased. It ran last year, I think we had about six weeks for the event, and people would come, skate the oval, they'd use an app called Strava, they'd hook into the Skate the Lake app, and uh, it would automatically record their, uh, their laps. And our president, John Bongers, two years ago, was the number one guy for the amount of distance he spent. And of course, I jokingly told some people that John had it on when he was driving the equipment, the going, going around that, yeah, <laughs> going around the oval and stuff like this. John unfortunately knew I'd put them up to it when they were talking to him about it. But uh, yeah, he he did. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 270 kilometers. Wow. That he that he lapped all by himself. And That's, I like the fact you, you, you do the math at the end of it. And you, you know, one year you went to Thunder Bay. Last year you went to Regina. To Regina. Yes. Yeah. 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 Although, as, as I think I had mentioned to you, that Marco got the province mixed up when he said <laughs> Regina. But, yeah, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of distance. That is. That yeah. is. You know, yeah. and together yeah. they did that for sure. But yeah. this year you're back. We're, You've already had to make one change. We've already made one change. Skate the Lake was actually going to be this coming weekend, the 28th, 29th. It's usually always the last weekend in January. But we kind of made the decision a couple of weeks ago with the weather forecast. So we moved it actually to Family Day weekend, which is the, it'll be the Saturday, Sunday, 18th, 19th of February, which the year that the 75 skaters came from Holland, that was the weekend that we actually had our event. Really? And the weather was phenomenal for us. So Absolutely. We're, we're hoping that Mother Nature uh, cooperates here a little bit. Uh, you know, we're definitely getting ice out there. There's some people who have been out skating on it already. It's not good right now with the snow cover, but... Uh, you know, we can get rid of that if, as long as we get enough ice and we can get our equipment on there. I mean, it's, it's all science, too. I mean, you were talking, you know, layers of water, ice, yeah. snow, what yeah. the weather's going to be like in, in that. But uh, you've got, like, maybe yeah. John Bongers is it's, out there. And, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of funny because at Skate the Lake, we laugh. I'm inside staff. <laughs> I look after the registration trailer and all that side of it. There's stuff that goes on out there that I know nothing about. And there's actually some volunteers I don't think I've ever met because they're part of the ice crew. And There's so many. When we're doing our brochure and stuff like that, I'll say, okay, who is this person? Are they with us or not? They just laugh. They said, yeah. yeah. They, they say I'm kind of like the groundhog. Every once in a while, there's a <laughs> sighting of me outside. But uh, it, it's a lot of people that do a lot of different things. And well, it takes that. Especially now that you're physically back to having oh, the outdoor event yeah, too. Yeah. So let's talk about the weekend itself too, because you've got lots of things going on. Oh, we sure do. And there's a lot of, I say, big changes uh, this year as well. It's the traditional events. So on Saturday, there's going to be a, a 10K and a 25K race. And, and again, when we say a race, Probably 50 to 60% of our skaters are using uh, speed skates. There's a lot of hockey skates, a lot of figure skates and stuff like that. But it's, it's more the participation than really anything else. There's a hardcore of very good speed skaters that have been coming here forever, longer than I've been around. Uh, we have a crew that comes from Kitchener-Waterloo who are outstanding, and they always bring one or two na new skaters with them every year so it keeps expanding for them and then after we do those two races we have probably our most popular event as far as spectators to watch the kids 5k and we'll have we've had kids there two and a half years old skating 
and then uh, it'll stop at age 12. Then they move on to the adult skates, but uh, some really good kids skaters and we will be timing them. Normally it was just we would mark their bib. They did the one lap, two laps up to five, but now they get a chip. So we actually oh, really, get a yes. physical time for them, mm -hmm. which they love. Yes. You know, was I faster than last year? <laughs> so it, it's good for them. And the crowds are really good cheering them all on. Absolutely. Now, the, the oval, is that one kid? One, one kilometer oval. Okay. Uh, I think we did a couple years <clears throat> where we actually did a two and a half K. It's, it's just too difficult to mm -hmm. maintain for us. So... It's a 1K oval, and the year the Dutch were here, mm -hmm. we w did have a 2.5K, but the weather kind of nixed that, and we ended up back to a 1K, which was even better, because then you can see all the skaters. Right. The 2.5K went out around an island. Yes, so, yes, yes, yeah. that's right, yeah. too, that's right, yes. too. Now, you do have your own Zamboni. Uh, yeah, it's actually an Olympia. Olympia? Which is a Canadian-made product. Uh, and again, it's kind of out of the Kitchener Waterloo area up there, and they actually donated it to us. This was the Olympia from the Westport Arena, and then they upgraded theirs and turned it back in to the company that uh, makes them, and they turned around, refurbished it, and donated it to us. Oh, nice. Which was fabulous. We just sent it back to them I guess it was a year ago, and they refurbished it again because we've had it for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we do maintenance and stuff on it, but probably not like they would do. Right. So right. they were down this way in Ottawa delivering one. They came by, set it up with us, came by, picked it up, took it back to Kitchener-Waterloo, refurbished it, and brought it back down to us. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Takes yeah. a village. Takes a oh, village, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, and, and again, we don't flood with it. We just do a scrape because it's it's kept outside. It's sheltered, but it's outside. Oh, it would freeze. It would freeze. Right. And yeah, we'd be in big trouble with that. But it's a it's a game changer for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now we've talked about, you know, doing five Ks, ten Ks. People can go out at their leisure as well. Yes, and that's the nice thing when we were doing the challenge, which we're going to be doing it this year as well, just all at the same time. So last year for the Skate Delay Challenge, we actually got seven weeks of skating in. Mm -hmm. uh, and so obviously the, the totals that we did were a lot greater. That's why we ended up in Regina. <laughs> uh, they can go out any time, day or night. Uh, skate, we don't have lights out there, but if you've got a nice moonlit night, it's beautiful out there on the oval. It really is. And yeah. of course, at night, the winds drop, <laughs> so it's a lot easier skating around. The winds out there in that Portland Bay can be pretty tough uh, sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. you are on the water there, basically, so yeah. you do get the big gusts of wind. But you see people bundled up there properly. They're enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah. I, we have a, a picture of, uh, it's probably three, four events ago, and it was actually Marco Smith's skating up the other side. Now, when you're going left to right in closer to shore, the winds are usually at your back and you zoom along mm -hmm. and then you make that turn at the end and it's like they're in slow motion and the search and rescue were out there with their horse the horse was actually walking faster than the speed skater was oh my going. goodness <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness yeah. wow. Yeah. wow you should have been towed <laughs> yeah now you, you, we're, we're talking about being out in the ice and everything yeah. now is there somewhere people can go in and warm up uh, i think you had chili dinners before we, that sort yes of thing. uh i think we're starting off yeah if you come to skate the lake you get pretty well fed mm -hmm. <laughs> uh portland uh united church is doing a breakfast on saturday morning i believe it's twelve dollars but it's everything right so uh Unfortunately, I never get to partake because I'm in doing registration, but it's uh, quite a good breakfast they put on. Hotel Kenny, which uh, you, being yes. lounge here, you would know about. Yes. They're coming and doing, uh, they're going to do our snurt soup for us this year, which is a Dutch pea soup. One of our founders, Marco Smits, insists that we have snurt every year. So they're going to be doing that, but they're also doing savory pies oh so one of them they're going to be smaller pies and everything like that individual pies 
Uh, one is a jerk chicken, and the other one, I hate to say this, but I can't wait to try it. It's a cheeseburger and fries in a savory oh, wow. pie. Yes. Uh, Jeff Day from uh, Hotel Kenny was at our last meeting and everything like that, and he mentioned that, and I said, what was that again? <laughs> like, yeah, I, so I'll be definitely trying that one. Uh, the uh, uh, Lens Cove, the marina, is doing a food kiosk as well, and they're gonna be doing uh, hot dogs and hot chocolate nice. and, and coffee and stuff like that, which is uh, Timmy's really helps us out with that. They're great corporate sponsors as excellent, well. Excellent, excellent, so. excellent. Now, for people, you, we were talking about the challenges. Do you have to register beforehand? How yes. do people do that yeah. or the if, day of? If you go to our, mm -hmm. our website, which is STL, which stands for Skate the Lake, so stlportlandoutdoors at gmail.com takes you to our website, and in there there's a line for uh, registration. You go in that. It goes through Eventbrite. Very, very simple. Makes your and job easier. Yo, yeah, it sure yeah. Well, we're working on that yeah. part of it. Uh, we've been talking about that, how it gets to, needs to be reported to me. But, uh, yeah, and if they register before Thursday night of Skate the Lake, they actually save money. So if you register online, it costs you a little more. Okay. Uh, so the hope is that most people will pre-register. And I'm going to say about 70, 75% of the people that skate do pre-register. Right. Uh, right. And it just makes it simple. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You probably just have those la the late minute ones. Uh, they're not sure what they're doing this oh, weekend yes. or what the weather's yeah. going to be like. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. And exactly. Yeah. And again, if, if a race or anything ends up, does get canceled and we can't do it because of the weather, they can get their money refunded. I think the only thing they lose is uh, a 2% or 2.5% that Eventbrite right. uh, captures. But uh, yeah. yeah, so they do get their money back. Although uh, in past years, and I actually look back, the last year we had it, we ended up ca having to cancel the 50K because the weather was so terrible. And I'm going to say about 85% of our skaters didn't want their money back. They yeah. says use it as a donation because nice. we live and die with donations. Right. And uh, we're very fortunate. We have several new sponsors came on board this year to help us out, which is critical. Uh, we had a gentleman who contacted me. He's 87 years old and he's switching from hockey and he's trying to take up speed skating. Wow. So he's having a little bit of difficulty because the speed skating boot is not like a hockey no, boot not, at no. all. No, it's not as much support. So, so I hooked him up with Marco because I don't speed skate. Yeah. <laughs> so I've hooked him up with Marco and stuff like that. And he went over to see Marco on the weekend, gave him a check for $500 as a donation. Wow. 87 so years old. It's, it's amazing. That's it's great. Stories like that, that yeah. you're right. It, and it really helps our volunteers, when they hear something like that, they're just going, okay, this is really appreciated. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I mean, you know, in terms of volunteers too, you, you've been around for a long time, so you've got a reputation. This isn't something you've just put together last year oh. or anything. How many years have we been doing this? This is our 18th event, right. so if it hadn't been for the last two years, this would have been, what, 21? Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, and the only year we've ever missed was 2010 which was the Olympics in uh, Vancouver. And it was because we said, jokingly say, it was too big a competition for the Olympics, so we decided we'd cancel it. Well, it's the only one that could compete with skating. Yeah, like yeah, so. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of our uh, skaters and, and the people from the skating world were involved with speed skating out there. Right. So, uh, yeah, it just it made sense now. And, of course, uh, Marco Smits works at a lot of the uh, Olympics. Right. Now for uh, NBC, I guess it is in the, in the U.S., he does a lot of the events for them. Right. Wow. They've even wow. used him in the Summer Olympics, and I had to remind them that, Marco, they don't have speed skating in the Summer Olympics, <laughs> but he's, he's very good at what he does. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Well, he's a great resource for you, for sure. For That's sure. for sure. For sure. Well, I thank you for coming here again. Again, the date again has been changed from okay. this weekend to... February 18th, 19th, right. so that's Family Day weekend. And then, of course, on the Monday of Family Day weekend, 
the oval will be open as well and we're looking that we're probably going to try and do some we'll have bonfires and probably some food and stuff there as well because uh, I remember last year on family day weekend it was quite busy yes yeah. yes for sure. we're just urging people if they come to skate bring their own chairs and stuff like that because we've stopped putting hay bales out on the ice because they get frozen in and it creates a real mess, a real mess trying yeah. to get them off there so uh, you know, bring a chair, an old chair that you can sit in and then take it home with you. That's right. Yes, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those fold-up lawn chairs are wonderful for this exactly. sort of thing. So, yes, exactly. Yes. So once again, Ken Maxwell, you've been here. How many years have you been with? Well, I've been with Skate the Lake now for 12 or 13 years. As the vice president the whole time? Uh, no, uh, I've only been the vice president for the last, I'm going to say, three or four. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of doing a lot of the same stuff that I did because I, the first year it was a girl by the name of Lori Gilberts mm -hmm. who was involved with Skate the Lake and she now lives in Deep River. Uh, she kind of got me hooked into it and I was in the registration trailer from day one. So, and I just, we kind of, we've evolved that over the years and uh, yeah, some of my duties keep expanding and as long as they're inside duties, I'm game. Yes, for sure, for sure. For I'm sure. not I, a great cold weather person. I understand totally. Yeah, I understand yeah. that one totally. Thank you very much for joining us because you did come all the way from Portland today to, to do our yeah, interview. It, you know what? It's always a pleasure. We enjoy the exposure. Uh, some of them laugh at me when I'm on here because I do talk a lot, but. Oh, you make my job easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just leave him in there by himself for a while. Okay. All right. Thank you very well, much. Thank you. Ken Maxwell, you're the vice president of our Skate the Lake. Thank you very yeah. much for joining us. Again, the weekend's February 18th and 19th.